another milestone. Suddenly, on all those surveys, I must check another box. No longer under 25. From being reassured, you're young yet, overnight I feel betrayed. In no time at all, I'm sure, my wife will be widowed. She has not aged since yesterday. Why should the years, the dumb and senseless, stupid circumnavigations of a planet round an ordinary sun make any difference? Why should we care? We would not change it if we could, and could not anyway. There are peoples, panning on the brown and yellow sands of shores in Polynesia, who cannot say how many seasons they've lived through, or spouses either. Is it only that they cannot count of changing seasons, never knowing else than eternal summer? Why should the cold make such difference? We defy the season inside, steel and glass and wood and brick and plastic. So let the children drive their cars when they can reach the pedals and make the payments. Let them use the contraceptives when they need them. Let them leave their homes when they can shut the door behind themselves. Let their parents answer to their knocking when the children learn the courtesy to make their parents glad to open doors and hearts again. And let me age when God lines my face. Do not usurp divine prerogative by farrowing my forehead with a survey pencil, nor show me charts on televisions as a mirror to my face and soul. The demographics of age, the politics of youth, let these be washed from silvered shores with the night's tide, leaving me to birth or die with the companions of my life's affections. We will never tally up the years, or know the fears of too, too soon or late, of young or aged, but be content with now, and meet and right and just. I wrote that in 1975.